Yeah. Yeah, old school. That's what I'm talking about. Listen, this ain't for everybody. Some of y'all need to hear this. I know you're in the trenches fighting, but check it out. I'm going to put it down like this so I can help the saints understand. Everything you're going through is all part of the master plan. Or what? You thought because you got saved, everything was going to be peaches and cream? You better wake up, son. Don't nothing come to a sleeper but a drink. Faith without work is dead. Read your Bible. You know what it says. He who don't work, don't eat. Blackers don't get fed. Huh, yeah. Jesus said, he who puts his hands to the plow looks back the same ain't fit. Some of y'all ain't been in the church just five minutes and you're about ready to quit. I ain't mad at you. I'm just hitting you with the real. <laughs> if you died for me and I was still tripping, now how you think that make you feel? Check this out. Deep game. This here's deep, huh? Some of y'all ain't sawing nothing but your study trying to reach huh? But after him who is able to possess your father by his glory. Struggles might be part of your testimony, but it ain't the end of the story. Now the point is this was prophesied way back in the day. Choir, sing your hook right here and see if the church can relate. I know. Good stuff. So what you been oh, doing, man? 
Oh, uh, you know what? I have been busy as all get out. I'm running on fumes here, you know, just working, working, and working, but you know, just trying to to live my best life, you know, do, doing what I enjoy the best. You know, before before we go on, I want to, I have to say this because it's, uh, it's in my mind to say this. I love that theme. I mean, I mean. I've, I mean, I'm just sitting there grooving to you can't go wrong with that bass line and, and that is just absolutely fantastic and I, I love it so so Thank yeah you, so thanks man. for getting me hyped up oh absolutely you know what I'm saying it's like that Pied Piper theory man sometimes or if you can get people heads moving and I tell a lot of these young hip hop artists man you know you know the lyrics and stuff. You know they got to They got to mean something. I say, but if you can kind of get their head bobbing a little bit, they might listen to what you got to say. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, it, 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 it's an interesting story uh, that that um, before I got into music, um, the guy that produced that track for the Pointer Sisters, that sample uh, based on the Kick, he actually was was a client of mine. I used to manage a law firm, and uh, and I was and I actually got their greatest hits uh, record, and I was reading the liner notes, and I was like where do I know this name from? And then come to find out he was, he was one of our clients. And, 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 and so I thought, I thought that was kind of, kind of cool how that all came, how that all came together. But, but it was, it was, it was just, I just love that piece. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, you're a music man, you know what I'm saying? You know, you're a music man. So it don't really matter about the genre. You know, if it's good, it's good. If it's not, it's not. It don't matter what it is. <laughs> and, and that's the truth. <laughs> Yeah, no, you know, because I said, you know, you go out of the country, man, you might not understand uh, the the language, you know, but but the, but the beat, the groove, you know what I'm saying, the the choice of instrumentation, you know, is always captivating. It gets you no matter what, you know. Yeah, you know, I was recently in South Africa in in in, in November before the um, uh, before the Om- Omicron hit, and and there was a lot of good good music there, and then to see some of the uh, people live in, in the in, in at, at the fairgrounds and, and at the and at the uh, uh, wharf where, where we were uh, uh, and they were just playing and and they and they were doing um, you know stuff that was American but they had that African flavor to it and it was just really really cool to see all the all the talent I mean I mean yeah and, and you recognize you recognize it but you couldn't understand the thing that they were saying because they were speaking and they weren't speaking English <laughs> right. Hey, but look, you got that head moving, boy, and them ears perked up, you know what I mean? And, and you know, it's always nice, too, to go to another country to hear something, you know, because, you know, I guess when we're local, or should I say, you know, just dealing in our home front, we have a tendency to, um, uh, I want critic, critique, that's the word I'm looking for. You know, it's good to go and just truly enjoy music with now, Critiquing it, does that make sense? Because we yeah. have being yeah. busy, we have to, we end up listening to the production. You know what I'm saying? The mix, uh, the vocals, yeah. and a lot of people. You know, we tend to listen to music a little different than the average person, if that makes sense. No, 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 no. You're 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 you're, you're absolutely correct. I mean, so, so, sometimes what I find myself doing is 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 listening to how long introductions are, you know, and uh, you know, and 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 then dissecting where the different parts of of the song, because because a lot of people that you know that listen to music, you know, you, you know, you know, for pleasure, don't realize all the mathematics that go into creating a piece, you know, and you have to have you know certain certain things in certain places, and they can only be so long according to industry standards and things like that. So when you hear something that's you know an intro that's harder than a, a hard open or greater than you know three or five seconds or ten seconds, whatever the you know the industry just, you know mandates that that an introduction must be. You know, it captures your attention. Well, thank you, man, for confirming the fact that I'm just not odd. <laughs> 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 thank you for coming, confirming the fact that I'm just not one of the guys that do it. You know what I mean? I don't feel so bad now because you do it too. <laughs> <laughs> So, 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 Michael, for our listeners that that haven't, or should I say, haven't heard your show that you were on previously, man, give them a little background about uh, some of the stuff that you do. Actually, I always like to start in the beginning, man, because you're such a talented guy, and I always like to say, uh, start with, what made you decide that you want to be a musician? What made you decide to play the instrument that you have, and how did that get you to where you are today? 
I know that's like well, three you, things at <laughs> once. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you know, I've always had a love for show business and the arts ever since I was uh, was a kid, and we and we always had all different types of music playing in the house when I was growing up, and and that and that really just helped me to really get in tune with uh, with all different types of music, and and I, I actually started uh, playing the violin when I was when, when I was really small. I, I think I started playing it when I was nine, I think. And, um, and, you know, and I saw, so I was, I was one of the band geeks, um, uh, for lack of a better word, we were, I was in the orchestra and the band at the same time. And, and we, and when I was in school and, and we toured, uh, I'm from California. And so we would go in competitions and, 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 and we actually played the holiday bowl one time. We filmed the my high school we filmed the commercial of the Hotel Del Coronado one year and and it, and so so I, I was really always in, in, into into the band and music and 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 I and I tabled that as I as I got older you know and, and went and went another direction as I mentioned earlier you know I was I was I was uh, managing a law firm and I went I had, I had a career do, uh, career doing that and and and, and other things in law enforcement and other things like that and then then I hit a, a milestone birthday. And I said to myself, you know what? You have this passion that 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 you only exercise from time to time. And and I said to myself, you know, it's time that 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 you that you really live your passion. And and so so that's when I just started. Uh, I formed See Your Shadow, which is a a, a collaborative network of, uh, of of musicians, songwriters, and and, and like-minded folks. And they and and with me at the top of the pyramid. As, as as the producer and, and and writer and we bring my my work and my vision to life and, and we and we and we we've, we've been doing that for, for for quite some time now we've been we've been really just really uh really blessed to have done some great projects over the years so so i'm really excited to, just to be a part of that and we're getting ready to have a milestone anniversary you know and we're going to celebrate that with a retrospective of all of the work that that, that we've done uh, over the years so 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 there's just a lot to um, uh, it's just my passion. I, this is just my passion. I love to create something from nothing, and 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 for those of you, for those that that you know don't have that kind of uh, talent, I mean, I mean, when when you when you and and you know this when when you when something comes to life from your mind from from, from conception to to actual uh, uh, you know implementation, it's just like it's like you're giving birth to a child. You know, and 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 it's just uh, and the songs are my kids. So. Well, that's great, man. That's a great way to start. So you started out, you know, on the violin. Was that your your instrument of choice, or is that just one they gave you? <laughs> well, well, you know, you know well, well, this, this is how the story went. Okay, so 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 shout out to our teachers. All right. Because um, yes. the, the, the the orchestra leader for for the junior high school uh, came um, c- came to my elementary school, and and, and they, they were they, they they were they were uh, close in proximity to to one another in 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 uh, in in location. So he came to speak, and he was just so fantastic and, and fired me up so much that I immediately went home and 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 asked my mom uh, if I if I could join the orchestra because at that time they had a program. Where you could be in elementary school and still uh, 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 take lessons and be in the junior high school orchestra, even though you were in elementary school. And so, and so, and so I asked, you know, if I if I could do this, and then of course, you know, I got hit with all the questions: uh, well, how much is it going to cost, and 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 all, all, all the reasons why, you know, why we couldn't do it. And and then, but it was a program for free. They gave you the instruments, and then you know, and all all it was going to cost me was my time. And, and 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 my parents were, were their time, and so so I just picked violin out of thin air, you know, because that was the first thing that came to my mind as I was I was having this discussion, this you know nine year old having discussion with 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 my mom, and that was the first thing that came to to my mind, and 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 that started that started everything. Fast forward a few years later, after I'm in the orchestra. Um, um the the, uh, the the director mr weisgerber you know i'll never forget him harry weisgerber was his name. <laughs> he, he, never uh, forget him. <laughs> he needed uh uh he asked for a volunteer to to do a solo for the for the for the band's christmas concert 
uh, you know, but he didn't give really give any details. He he, he just he just asked for a volunteer and and don't ask me why I raised my hand. I so I raised my hand and 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 then the next thing I know, I'm learning how to play the xylophone and and and, and I'm and I'm the feature soloist in, at at the band's Christmas concert that year. And so 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 that got me into into percussion and then and then and then it just grew from there. So. At least you was good enough to pull it off. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. I, 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 actually, actually, I love I love telling stories. My first standing ovation. I was nervous as all get out, but but when it was all done, <laughs> I got a standing ovation. I know, boy. That feeling right then and there, boy. When you first start, like, do I run off the stage or do I do I bring it? Do I come with it? What do I do? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because because I had no idea I had no idea that that was going to be the task when he asked for the volunteer I, I had no idea so it was not only was it a new instrument that you had to learn that I had to learn but it was okay you're going to be out front and center because 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 how 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 the show went was you know they had the whole band um, uh, all set up but then when, when the time came for me to perform I had to wheel the instrument out to the front of the band so so I was out in front in the audience and then and then the band was behind me and so so it was just you know the audience me in the middle and then the band behind me and so 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 you know and for 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 the look at that that, that could be nerve-wracking you know but <laughs> but I managed to pull it off so well that's why you're Michael Coleman <laughs> A metropolitan cowboy. So, so what instrument did you end up with? I mean, you multi instrumentalist. What is what is your main instrument of choice now? Uh, my main instrument of choice, I would have to say, when I'm when I'm sitting down to write uh, pieces now, I'm using uh, the keyboard or the piano. Yeah. That 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 that'll be my that that'll be my go to when when I need to do. Uh, uh, when I need to do a new piece. Okay. So, Michael, we have several songs of yours, and we're going to definitely pick one of those, and I'll let you pick it and talk about it, and we'll come back and chop it up some more. I mean, uh, you just got so much great stuff going on out there. Um, yeah, five consecutive number one singles on the iTunes country music charts. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, and that, and that came out of nowhere, and and I was just really surprised. You know, when when that happens once, and and that happened with our our breakout record, I will tell Jesus you said hello, and that was the one that we won the uh, award by the International Music Association for. Uh, you know, as, as best we were, we were named best uh, alternative gospel group for. For that particular piece, and 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 we're not even, you know, I mean, we're not even a gospel uh, a gospel uh, uh, entity, but you know, I mean, but 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 they recognize that uh, as a gospel piece, and 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 they awarded us the honor of being uh, named alternative group of the year for for 2021. So that's uh, that was pretty that that was pretty cool. But when that happens the first time, you know, you think, okay, cool, and then when it happens the second time. And then when it happened the third time, you know, I mean, you, you, you get, you get, you, you, you get just really, it's like, oh my goodness, you know, I mean, you know, when, when, and when we, when we went up to five times, I was like, okay, what is going on here? <laughs> you know, so <laughs> it was just like. <laughs> you, you, hey, look, you know, you're standing in the mirror popping your collar. <laughs> 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 well, well, you know what's so funny is that, and and you know this, uh, that you never know how a record is going to be received. You know, you know. I mean, I mean, what I what I do is I toil over. Okay, what's going to be the next single that we come out with? You know, you listen to 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 to, to your work um, that you have, and you, and you're like, okay. What am I going to put out next? You know, and 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 I go back and forth sometimes. Okay, is it going to be this one? Is it going to be this one? And, you know, sometimes and you, something you don't know. You don't know how people are going to to respond. You know, did you make the right choice? You know, I, I mean, I mean, it, it, there's a lot that goes into picking what comes next. And uh, I mean, like people people thought that I was crazy when I chose our southern rock instrumental. As 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 the follow up to to that ballad, I will tell Jesus. You said a lot of people thought I was nuts. Not only was were we releasing an instrumental, 
you know, I mean, who does that? You know, it was one of the things that, that I got from, from, from my from my colleagues and, and my people. And, and I was just like, well, you know what? I, I'm the person that does that because that's, that's where my spirit is leading me to do. And then, and then, and then that one, you know, went to number one, the fans responded well to it. And so, so you just never know, you know, I mean, a lot goes into picking what's going to come next. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we had a crystal ball? Yeah. Yeah. All we could do is do the best that we could do, put our heart and soul in it, and and, and put it out there. You know what I mean? And because, like you said, we just never, never know. You know, because we don't. All we got to do is do the best we can do. Yeah, you know what I what I what I what I always say is that you know that that my job is just to create the work, however I'm inspired, and then let the chips fall where they may. You know, after after the fact but 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 it's my job to to go to go with what my spirit where my spirit leads me and and to create the work that that I'm inspired to create and that's a good way to go for it sir great way so what song should we start out with michael well the the latest piece uh, that we have is actually being reviewed very well and been received really well so we're we're trying to go for number 6 we were already we 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 are we came into the chart at number four in Great Britain on this with this one. But the latest piece is a piece called Simple Special Moment and, and, and that's the one that, that was just released a couple of weeks ago. So you can start with that. Okay. You wanna start with that one or you wanna say that one for last? Oh, you know what, you know what? Oh yeah, you know what? We we could we we could save that one for last. Well, why, why don't we do that? You know, our um I th- I think you have um uh, our female empowerment piece. Uh, which is I know my worth, uh, and 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 that, yeah. that 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 actually will uh, will will lay into our discussion um, uh, about 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 being pigeonholed as well. So yes, yeah, so why don't we start with that? You got it, everybody. This is Mr. Michael Coleman, and uh, you know what I like to say: let the windows down, turn the air conditioning up, and put your ears on. This, Mr. Michael Coleman, I know my.
Yes, we're back with the Metropolitan Cowboy. <laughs> yeah, the, the, you can't help but rock out to that piece. I, uh, I love that piece. Yeah, I love the, the guitars, man. It takes me home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, and, and that was the, that was the piece I was talking about. You know, people thought that I was crazy releasing that as as a follow up to 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 one of our to, to our breakout ballad, and 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 I was like, you know, n- number one, nobody nobody ever does that. You know, it's very rare that an instrumental is released, and let alone a southern rock instrumental. I, I think you can uh, probably, uh, you know, you know, count 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 on count on one hand or. Or, or, or at least no more than I can't think of any more than about probably about ten, you know that 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 have been uh, that have been released solely as instrumentals that that that, that people responded to, so so yeah, and then and then we use that to to um, uh, to do our female empowerment anthem. Um, I hooked up with a um, South African uh, DJ who found who, who heard that work uh, and then found me and he remixed it for me and and. Uh, and, and and that was that was pretty cool. Uh, gave me the track for for our, our empowerment piece. Okay. So how did uh, I know? Let me see. I was going to ask you uh, in your in your coming up in your music. Um, what is the best biggest challenge you had in the industry uh, in regards to um, I guess your 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 style and Trying to formulate my question right, according to your style, and I know you listen to a whole lot of different music. What what helped you decide your style? Well, well, you know, you know the the, the interesting thing, especially, um, um, and I think we touched on this last time I was on the show. Uh, when I, especially when I started doing country and western uh, music, you know, I mean, I mean, one one of the biggest challenges was the fact that I wasn't white. That 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 was that was a big uh, uh, that was a big challenge, and 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 my catalog has got everything in it, and and every time that I try to every time that I go to do something different, you know, especially when we do the rock pieces or when we do um, uh, pieces that aren't traditionally uh, done by people of color, you know I, you know you always get the you always get the uh, uh, side eye so to so to speak. Uh, uh, that you know, you know, how are you doing this, or why are you doing this? Uh, because because you're you know you're supposed to be into into this type of music because you're a person of color, and so that has always been a challenge. And and uh, I, I mean, it's just you know people just try to classify you as 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 one thing, and 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 when when true artists are able to to really do a myriad of things and 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 I think if you you're if creating is in your fabric of of your, of who you are you know you you want to be able to do different things and 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 it's just getting the pushback from uh from from folks you know that want to classify me as one thing when when in reality I'm I'm a myriad of things <laughs> Very well said. You know, a lot, a lot of my uh, inf- information that uh, I come across with my little acting career, you know, they 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 ask for your your color or your this that, and I, I thought about it for a moment. And I was, I decided, well, I don't really have a color. You know, I mean, I know black, you know, is in a box of crayons, and I know white is in a box of crayons, but. You know, I never been to Africa. My family's never been to Africa, uh-huh. so I'm so I, I think I'm just an American, and I don't really think I have a color. If I do have a color, I guess it would be caramel. <laughs> you, you know, and isn't that crazy that 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 kind of classification is uniquely American? You know, I mean, you know, and, 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 and yeah, we, we, we really don't think about this. that. That kind, those kinds of classifications are uniquely American. And I bet you, you know, didn't uh, come up with it. <laughs> I bet you didn't yeah, come up yeah. with it. Did you? You, you know, you know, you, you know what? When 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 I was in when when I when I was growing up, I I you know I had the long hair. I, I was listening to rock and roll. You know, you know, and, and, and in my neighborhood, people thought I was crazy. You know, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, because it was just. It was just, you know, I was just, I was just, you know, me, 
you know, you know, I really didn't really didn't classify myself one thing or another. And 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 you know, and, and I'm sure you get this all the time in your when, when you're acting. You know, I mean, I mean, it, in terms of you know, um, um, a good actor can play any role. Exactly. You know, if, if you're good, you can play any role. You know, you know. I mean, I mean, it 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 it, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, you know, you know what 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 skin color you are. You know what what ethnicity you are. Uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know. A good actor can play any role, and and I, and I think um, you know, people try to try to uh, you know put folks into into one box, and 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 then keep them there. You know, I mean, and 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 not only does that do a disservice to the to to the industry, but it also does a disservice to uh, to, to to the public. You know, for, for folks being able to see you know different types of people in different types of roles. Would you say that 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 same uh, uh, analogy goes for musicians too? That a great musician can pay, play any genre. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah! And you know what? Oh, oh for sure! And 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 a well-written song can be performed in any genre, and it's and and it's and still a well-written piece. Right. And 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 hopefully we're dealing with musicians that can read, and not the ones that play by ear. <laughs> but but you, but you know you know. Some, some some of my best some of my best folks that I have worked with have have been have been folks that couldn't read, you know you know and 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 and, and it, it is a unique it is a unique talent uh, you know you know I mean it helps uh, when you're trying to do things that are really technical and and and, and right. really specific it really it, that that really helps but but sometimes you know you just need someone to feel. You know, and 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 it's those types, you know, that that just play by play by ear or play by emotion or whatnot. You know, that that can add a whole whole different dynamic element to a piece because 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 they feel it. They're just not doing the notes. You know, I mean, it's something that something they bring something from 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 within them. And and I love working with folks that that I can say, okay, this is what I want. You know, and 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 not really have and not really have any clue. You know, you know, you know what what what, what it's going to be. But I can say, well, this is what's in my head, and I need you to play it. Right, and I'm glad you explained that too, because it made me think about a lot of people that do play by ear. They do come with feel, and they come with emotions. And then you have other musicians that know technically how to play, but they're mm-hmm. lacking. The feel and the emotions, yes. you know what I mean, and a lot of times that feel and emotion is what transcend to the, your your audience that's listening. They could feel that, you know what I mean. They yes. could, they could sense it. Yes, but, you know, just because you went to school and learned how to technically play does not give you that heart. Exactly, you know, and and I learned I I learned that um, very very early on. I was actually working on on a couple of pieces. With this music professor from Calgary, Canada. All right, and you know he had contacted me. He wanted he wanted he wanted he wanted to to for me, me, me to write for some of his uh, for some of his pieces, and 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 so, so we were working together, and 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 he and he was he, he always would ask me, how am I able to do the things that I do when I don't have a degree in music, you know, you know, and and I, and I do, and I would tell him. You know, Peter. This is what I said. You know, sometimes you just have to go with how you feel, how a piece makes you feel. That, that and 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 you just have to go with it. It's not all about the technical aspect of a piece. You know, I mean, but he was so mired in on on the tech on the technical, you know, that 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 that, that he was missing the emotion of a piece. And and we were able, right. we were able to write some good pieces that 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 are going to come out on the. On the double album retrospective, but you know, I mean, I mean, I mean, but sometimes you know, you need a merging of the two. Absolutely, absolutely. I got some more questions lined up for you, Michael, for our listeners, and for those who just joined the show. Um, you could listen at the show from the beginning, you know, at when over, please. But if you'd like to join us right now, 
The call in number is 347-308-8747. Press number one. Let us know that you're there, and we'll be glad to let you join the conversation. And uh, for that, you can take your mask off. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we all tired of those days? Yes, yes, yes. So what should we play next, Michael? Uh, uh, you know, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. What what all do you have? I, you know, I you know what? Have, I have crazy things, and then I would tell Jesus hello, and we're saving simple, simple, special moments for last. Okay, let me see here. Uh, you, you know what? You know what? Why, why don't Why don't we share with, with the audience the the, 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 the the how it all got started? You know, and and then how it all got started was with I will tell Jesus she said hello. All right, and that is a good one, boy, because everybody need to be listening to that and be need to tell it me hello, good morning, good day, and <laughs> break me out and uh, show me somewhere I can hide my head because I don't know what these people are trying to do in this world. <laughs> <laughs> And, and that's the truth, and and that that that, and that was the, the piece that we won the uh, uh, we won the award for. So 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 it's always going to be a special one in the catalog, and 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 I'm, I'm always happy to share. People find so much healing in this piece, and and uh, it, it really is a special one to us. Oh, fantastic! All right, everybody, this is Mr. Michael Coleman. I will tell Jesus hello. Y'all need to do it too. <laughs> He missed a ball playing catch with his dad Forgot to look both ways A car was coming way too fast Doctors told his parents They had to make a choice In all the confusion They heard it
Okay, your girl Miss Drama Ganza, mm-hmm, check. Lip gloss, check. Mascara, check. I am Indy with the homie K Diddy, check, check. You listening <clears throat> to Blog Talk Radio, baby, and I love you for it. Mwah. That was great. I love that. <laughs> Yes, Michael, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, okay. The system sometimes it goes crazy. But anyway, that was another <laughs> great song, man. Definitely like the 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 message, the words, man, were awesome. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah, and 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 a lot of people find healing in that piece. I even found it myself. That that helped me uh, through uh, when I was when when I was dealing with my mom uh, and her illness. And when she eventually passed, and and we've got a lot of people, you know, just commenting on 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 you know the power of that piece, and and so so I mean, like I said, I mean, we were fortunate enough to 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 have that to through that piece be named in you know uh, alternative gospel group of the year for that piece. So so yeah, so so so, so it's got to be one that's gonna be near and dear to my heart for a, for a long time. So. Uh, a uh, long time, like uh, forever. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, thing, yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, you know, the thing about art, and you know this, uh, you know, this is what I tell people that 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 art is one of the things that once it's created, it is forever. You know, and 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 when, when you work, uh, when when you work on a piece, and when you have a network of of folks and and, and musicians and 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 the people that that that. So many people that that it takes to bring a record, you know, to life, or, you know, or to do any sort of artistic project. I always tell folks, I said, when we when we take this journey, it's going to be one that ties us together for the rest of our lives because art is forever once it is once it is created, and 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 and, and that that really is a, a really is a great thing to know that you know that 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 you're part of something you know you know you know that will that will be part of your legacy and 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 and, and it's just great I've been really fortunate to you know you know to to be able to take folks on a journey with me and and you know and then I think they really realize the seriousness of what we're doing once it's all done I mean we've had we've had fun and we have, and we get uh, and we get to clown around on some of the projects that I do and and you know I mean, but it really is something that ties us together for the rest of our lives yes yes it does because once you put the lyrics with the music and the vocals, you can't take them off. <laughs> it's not still yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly, and 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 you know, and, and the musicians that that play on on projects that you know, I was watching um, years ago. I was watching that uh, uh, that documentary about about the Funk Brothers. Um, uh, but was standing in the shadows of Motown, and uh, right. and 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 you know you know those musicians that played on the, on on those records. I mean, th- I mean that's part of that Motown of uh, that Motown legacy, you know, and 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 that's something can nobody can ever take that away from them, you know, you know, and and oh. and. and, and oh. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you can, you're, you're part of that. That's part of their. That's part of their legacy. And no matter you know where you're at, you know, no, no, no matter what you ever do in life, and if if you were part of that, you can say, you know, hey, I was part of this experience. That was one of your questions too, because uh, a lot of those uh, great musicians that we was talking about, they didn't have. A lot of money, and a lot of them are just not getting the recognition that's due them now that you're speaking of. Yeah. But uh, most people think a, a legacy involves money, so why do you think it doesn't? Well, well, well you know, I mean, when when we are when we are gone, you know, I mean, <laughs> what we leave behind 
you know, you know, I mean, I mean, I mean, sh- sh- sure, sure. If you got fame, for, if you got fortune, you can leave a fortune behind to, to your heirs or whatnot. But it really is is how are, how are you going to be remembered when 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 your name is spoken or when somebody thinks about you? What kind of impact did you have on 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 others, and what kind of emotion is the speaking of your name after you're gone going to have on someone? You know, I mean, is, are they going to sneer? You know, or 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 are they going to smile and remember fondly? You know, you know, the fact that 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 you made their life greater in some sort of way, you know, because they knew you, or because you were in it. You know, I mean, you know, and 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 I think I think that really is that that really is uh you know really paramount to a to a person's to to a person's legacy. You know, on our and I, and I talk about this on on our I love talking about this on our on our YouTube uh, uh, channel. Uh, you know, we, we release the Christmas record every year, Christmas on Cell Block Nine, and and during during the last campaign, um, um, we had a comment on our YouTube on our, on our YouTube channel from from this woman who had an autistic son, and you know, she, she was severely he's severe autism, and and she wrote on the YouTube channel that he responded he responds. Well, so well to the piece that 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 he that that he sings it. It's the only piece. It's the only piece that he you know that that he responds to. And when I read that on our on on on, on our on our channel, I, I was I was like you know that's the reason why we do why we do what what we do. You know we never know how how our work is going to impact. On, impact others. What kind of influence we have. And I think and I think that is. True legacy, and, and 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 that and, and that is true a true win when you know that that the work that you do really really has an effect on someone else. Right. And I was just thinking too, um, uh, Michael, that I definitely want to uh, uh, give you definitely thumbs up too, man, because of uh, uh, I don't know. I guess I don't want I don't want to go back to the race thing, but doing what you do let a lot of up and coming artists musicians know that the genre that they feel passionate about doesn't de- define who they are and what they can and cannot do and um i i think you 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 explode with that you know what i mean um and, and i think that's definitely a credit to to you as a pioneer and a fantastic artist, so I just had to get that out. I hope I said it. <laughs> well, thanks. I appreciate that. And you know, you know, and 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 that really is important. Uh, you know, for 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 folks 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 who are coming up uh, up to know that you know you know that you know it's always good if you're if you're a true artist, you always want to be pushing yourself and pushing yourself to be better and pushing yourself to try different things and, and, and stepping out of, of your quote unquote comfort zone. But, you know, you know, you know, you know I, I once was given, uh, when I, I was down in Nashville um, and I was attending, uh, attending some uh, event and, and, and I was talking with, with a colleague uh, and, and she, she said to me, she said, uh, continue to think outside the box because when you think outside the box and go outside the box, it it pays off huge, and 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 and, and, and I've never forgotten those words uh, because because it is because because it is true. I mean, when pe- people are hungry for things that haven't been done before. People are hungry for things that that are unique. People are hungry for things that are innovative, and 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 somebody's got to do that. And why can't it be you? Well, it's going to be you, because what I found out about myself, I'm just not normal. And I guess you're not normal <laughs> either. And I don't even want to be normal, man. I like the fact that I'm creative. I like the fact that I can think out of the box. And I like the fact that I can wake up weird wee hours of the morning and like, oh, I might try to do this. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I, I like that. You know what I mean? That is a that 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 is a great feeling. No, no, I, I, no, I, and I'm right there with you because 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 I I love doing that too. I'm, I'm like, well, what? Yeah, yeah. Well, why don't I do that? You know? And and as I said to myself, get my team together. I said, this is what we're gonna do. Let 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 us do this. You know? I, I mean, and 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 you know, I mean, I mean, it, it could be so silly. I mean, I mean, 
you know, you know, just like you know, people thought that I was I was crazy when, when we did the game show about oral sex that that that, that, that we that we filmed here uh, in, in Phoenix, and I'm just like, you know what, we're gonna do it, you know, you know, and let the chips fall where they may, because <laughs> that's what I feel like doing. That's what I'm inspired to do, and so we're gonna do it, and, you know, and, and so and, and so you know, sometimes you just have to go with it and and and, and just be crazy, and and like I said, let the chips fall where they may. Yeah, and and like I said, everybody's normal is not everybody's normal, and everybody's crazy yeah. is not everybody's crazy. And if you try to figure that out, guess what? You're gonna be neither one. <laughs> <laughs> so, shoot. So man, listen. What else we got here? We got um, uh, crazy things like and um, what do you say? Well, it's, yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you've got. I think you should have today. I do became. I don't. That they. That that was one of our number ones. And and uh, if you have it, starts with hello. Uh, uh, that was the one that really surprised me. That 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 was received so so well. Um, yeah, yeah. If, if you have if you have that one, I, I don't know if if, if uh, Libby got that one to you on time or you know. Yeah, I, I have. It. Uh, I would. Let me see. What is it? Yeah. Um, Oh, I just saw that. Uh, yeah, it starts with hello. Yeah, I have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I, I, I think your I think your audience would, would would enjoy that, and 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 the spark 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 a good dialogue after the fact. All right, here we go, everybody. Let the windows down. Turn your air conditioner up and put your hair on this. Mr. Michael Coleman starts with hello. Yeah, yes. Make up one world Every difference we embrace Barriers can be erased Change begins When we speak this word Hello Hello It all starts with hello Some kind of way. 
Yeah, yeah, you know that, that, that's and that's such a simple, simple concept, and and it's one that's often overlooked, and 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 and, and that's why I'm glad people really responded well to that piece. You, you know, I mean, because every interaction that we have with somebody else, you know, it does start when we greet them, and that sets the tone and uh, the tune for everything that follows, and and we sometimes we forget that. Yeah, we do. It's got to start with that one. <laughs> you know, <laughs> definitely got to start with that one. Well, Michael, we're getting kind of low on our time now, so we're going to go on and run um, uh, Simple Special Moments. Yeah, that's, that's the latest record, and, and yeah, it's being received very well and, and reviewed very, very well. So, so yeah, that that would be fantastic. All right, everybody. Make sure you listen to this record. Go out and support our guest today. All right, here you go. Three AM on a Sunday on tour barely getting paid. Neon sign says open all night long. Story of her life in a face. Dreaming she worked a five-star place Kinda she gave away for free I watched her as she took me to my seat Honey, baby, sugar, what she called me Metropolitan Cowboy. Sir, time flies when you're having fun. Doesn't it? Does, I mean, it, it, it seems like we just got started. <laughs> yeah, time flies. And again, man, listen, you're welcome to come back through any time you feel, man, because I always enjoy talking to you, man. And also, hopefully, you'll send uh, you know, us a, your itinerary, man, so we can come check out your show, man, and meet you in person. 
Oh, that 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 would be fan that would be fantastic. I would love that. So yeah, you know, and thanks for having me on. So I love talking with you. I love being on the show. The show's great. You you get me going. You get me moving. You know, I was running on things, but I started, and and now I'm up and moving, and and now 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 I'll probably go in and do some work. Well, that's that's never in the job. You know, we never stop working. At least I, I don't. I quit every I quit every day, but I start back the next day. So you know, that's how we that's how we do. So man, continue good luck, man. And continue to put out great music, man. You know, and uh, we're gonna continue to play your stuff and support you always, man. And and definitely, like I said, keep keep us in mind and if, let us know where you're at, man, so we can come check you out, man. Uh, most definitely. Hey, thanks so much, and really enjoyed it. Yes, and for those, again, that join the show late, it's available, you know, worldwide right now, and if you have any problems, you know what I'm going to tell you. Ask your neighbor, ask your mama, ask your daddy, let, ask the guy across the street at the liquor store, to ask the guy at the gas station, but somebody know where they can hear the show so you ain't got no excuse. And if that fails, hit us up worldmovement.com and we'll definitely tell you but it's on all the platforms so you don't have no excuse anyway we'll see you next week and thanks for listening and definitely big shout out to our guest today mr michael coleman all right peace see you guys next week all right ciao ciao